this is a no-brainer on the Bitcoin cryptocurrency but unfortunately a lot of traders won't still see it now we've been hearing about the crypto market the crypto space that has more or less been crashing for a while last week we had the news about Luna and of course if you check the other cryptos they have been tanking heavily now with that said what we're going to be learning here today is how to do a multi time frame analysis of the Bitcoin cryptocurrency and then also look for opportunities where to enter the market to follow the, the prevailing trend. As we all know, the prevailing trend is to the downside. So it's a pleasure having you here. My name is Tolu of CSA Forex. A quick disclaimer for you, this video should not be used as a form of signal but majorly for educational purposes only. So let's dive into the charts quickly. From what we have over here, if you remember from our previous videos on the Bitcoin, we talked about price getting to these lows over here. And you can see the big monthly candle finally got there. And then you can see here we have some buying pressure around here. So of course, you won't expect a big candle such as this to break all the way down to this area here of 19k 18k area of untested support but rather this is what i'm going to be expecting we might have a close like this and then before you know it we might have one or two candles that might move sideways and then probably drop down some more so this is the monthly time frame if you cross over to the weekly time frame you can see the 30k 30k demand zone that we've been talking about for a while has finally been hit nicely as you can see this, these are all support so now you can see the reaction here price is now sitting quietly at the 30k area of demand and this is coming after it broke out of this bearish flag we talked about the bearish flag for a while so someone could have gotten an entry either at the top of this bearish flag here or maybe even at the breakout over here but of course we would have loved a quick pullback here and then a drop but that was not the case so this is the area that we just showed you now the 18k 19k area which happens to be untested it is yet to be tested as support for me as a fib trader as i also watch what happens based on the fib because the fib also helps us with directional bias now if price should break out of this support area here if it breaks out of the support area here it should now act as resistance and then drop some more and that means that it has gone well below the 50 stroke 61.8 key uh, uh fib levels and that means that of course the directional bias has changed and as it has changed I would now like to see another FIB, a new FIB drawn from the highs here to the lows per venture that it breaks out. If this occurs, then I would now like to see a pullback probably to the 50 area uh, from the reversal, of course, uh, back to this area here that should now act as resistance and then drop further down. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I said this is a, a no-brainer because this is what we can see on the charts. And of course, as an analyst, you you make your forecast you make your prediction based on what you can see right in front of you so who knows we might as well bottom some more and then of course this area is one of interest which is around the 10,000 marker yes around the 10,000 marker on this weekly time frame so this is the weekly time frame we have just shown you and then for a no-brainer entry, if you're looking forward to, you know, jumping into the market, as I said, it's a multi-time frame analysis approach. And you can see what we have over here, dropping down time frames, right? And look over here. This is what I have. For those that are familiar with the head and shoulders pattern, you can see this looks like an inverse head and shoulders, where this here happens to be like the left shoulder, well, inverse left shoulder the head and of course this should be the right shoulder that should also make it to push higher right so if you should push higher we have our levels that we marked out over here and of course 
don't forget we still have a gap from two weeks ago uh we had a gap here that formed market open but it has since been closed over here quickly but then we have this key area here if you push higher to these areas of 35 or maybe 37 these are the areas from this four hours time frame to start to look for sell opportunities but then we also have an area that i'm keenly looking at today today or maybe even tomorrow i'm looking at price getting to this area here of about 32 33 over here so this is my potential area of shorts on the bitcoin so this is what i'm looking at now and of course for you to place trades here it will be based on your trigger right so when price gets here this is one thing you need to pay attention to also that traders fail to realize i have marked out some areas of interest here and even here and also here that coincide with the four hours time frame but one thing you need to know is that when price gets here it might not hold as resistance it might push up to the next area so how do you know that this area is going to hold as resistance simple it is based on the price action that you get there you might have um let's see you might have a form of uh hammer bearish hammer or bearish engulfing or you could even have like a spinning top or harami or whatever the case might be that will give you that confidence to pull the trigger here and then also you could have a nice chart pattern it will give you a sort of wedge going into this area here meaning that the wedge you have it move in a manner like this and then that gives you clues that it is consolidating up to that area and then it's a good one to pull the trigger here so you need to always ensure that any area of interest that you mark you patiently wait to see how the price moves to that area and of course how it reacts based on the price action that it forms and then also you just do the needful and then jump in so here's a an area of potential shots here is also an area of potential potential shots uh this might be a bit extreme for me though right so i'll just be looking out for this one here right i'm looking out for this area here i call this number one and then i call this number two please don't forget this should be used as a form of uh education and not as a form of signal one thing that traders have been saying and have been asking me is it time to buy the dip i repeat is it time to buy the dip and then i normally tell them that when you talk about buying the dip you need more confirmation in order to jump in and say okay good it's time to buy the dip because if you just jump in blindly and you want to buy this dip this is a vertical move by the way don't be surprised if this vertical move moves up a bit or moves sideways or whatever the case might be and then drops down that means that you were punished by just buying a dip you need more information before you jump in and of course the trend is your friend and of course from what we can see here for all the coins the ethereum light luna well of course luna you will notice that the trend is down so it's best for you to look for opportunities to sell in the market i would obviously update this and uh, show you what the outcome would be from the h1 time frame uh, perspective or what i would like to see so from what i have over here this is more or less a good area of interest to look out for with that said i want to say thank you thank you for watching if you have any question feel free to ask if you are new to this channel cac forex where we talk about how to trade the market the proper way how to read and understand the chart in order to become profitable hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell don't forget to like and of course comment and if you have any question on any instrument whatsoever then do what comment in the section below if you want to learn how to trade using price action support and resistance there is a link in the description below for free three days training and also we have a free weekend that is sunday webinar where we talk about the past trades and of course the future trade for opportunities to take advantage of anything you need feel free to reach out and we'll see what we can do for you thank you guys enjoy the rest of the day and god bless